Ready. No. Hi everyone, we're live. Hi, we're live. Hi, we are here with Patty. I'm so excited for you to be here. I'm thrilled to be here. Oh my gosh, she's big time in all over El Paso, so we're so thrilled, thrilled, thrilled to have you here. I have so many questions for you. Ask mm -hmm. away. I'm happy. I mean, it, it's, it's weird for me being on the other side because I'm used to running the show and asking questions, <laughs> and I talk a lot, so it's hard for me to like wait for you to ask me something. So, okay, but go ahead. But you're, <laughs> but you're able to answer and kind of yeah. go through the flow, right? And I'm an open book. Ask me anything. I'm an open book. Okay, so all the entrepreneurs, we all want to know like yeah. what was the hardest thing for you to get to where you are right now um i think believing in myself you know believing in myself and cutting out the naysayers and and, and a friend of mine claudia castillo who did my makeup showed me a little script of haters we all have haters if you don't have haters you're not doing anything with your life we all have haters you have to tune those people out and it's usually people who are really not doing anything with their life and when i first got in this business and we we were both single mothers i had a baby at 21 i had no education no nothing and i really had to get focused and realize what do I want to do with my life and I had this vision of always being a news anchor going into journalism um, you know down the road but again you have to work towards that you don't start there you know I started interning and then as a, in radio and then I worked my way to Tali as a desk assistant that working the the bad hours in the mornings at night and you work your way up and you prove yourself but believe in yourself when it's hard when it's difficult when you get people telling you no you're not gonna make it when why don't you do something else when and you're going to get a lot of that, but at the end of the day, you really have to get quiet, get still, and and believe in yourself. And and how do you know you're in the right direction? And 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 people always ask me that. You know, we can second guess ourselves. How do you know you're moving in the right direction? You have peace about it. I I'm 45 years old. I don't mind sending my uh, uh, sharing my age. But one of the things about me that, how do I know I'm making the right decision? Because we're still going to make decisions in our life, in our career, personal life, is do I have peace about it? When I have peace about something, I move forward. And regardless of the opinions, I, I don't listen to that. I have my small group of trusted advisors, mm -hmm. but I don't listen to every, anybody else's opinions. Because people see, see things through their lens. So that's the biggest piece of advice if you're going to start a business or or jump into a new project or whatever it is right you have to believe in yourself and your vision of what you want to accomplish and stay focused on that you have a bunch of um quotes on your instagram that i really just yeah. you hit a lot of things that people don't hit you know you say things like um just a lot of them you're right like the haters you know and you'll say like hey you know what who cares and all those mantras for me really resonate for myself and why do you post those? I, because it's personal. Every one of those that I post speaks to me or has spoken to me at some point in my life. It's all personal. I mean, it's something that speaks to me that say that I need to hear it. I went through this. Someone else needs to hear it. It's motivational. It's it's that belief first and foremost in ourselves. I mean, we create our lives. I believe that 100%. I say that all the time. I came from nothing. But, but in order to change our life, it starts with us. People don't rescue you. There's no Prince Charming. We have to be our own heroes. As a woman, as a business person, as a mother, as a friend, right. it first starts with us and our thinking and what we believe. And so I, a lot of those quotes are really just, somebody needs to hear it. And then also for myself as a reminder that, um, you know, to believe in yourself, to, to, to be happy, to appreciate the small things. And then like, you know, the haters, the, the, right. the people see things through their lens. You know, I saw... Uh, I saw this somewhere in a motivational speech or something, and I, I live my life by surrounding myself by positivity. Is that you know you go around asking people, what do you think, and 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 you're going to get a hundred different opinions. You right. can't do that. You first have to really get quiet and still, and ask your higher power, universe, God, whatever you believe in, and and the answers come, and they always come, and then you you get peace about doing something. I've changed the way I live my life, especially in the last ten years. And I can say I'm the happiest I've ever been. My life is amazing. I have it amazing. But I'm very grateful. One of the big things for me is gratitude and humility. I never forget where I came from. I never forget having nothing. Right. Um, you know, struggling. But it's those struggles, I think, that make you appreciate once you once you kind of climb out of those deep waters. And you will. I think we all go through that. You know, that's life. You know, and, and, and we'll, we'll, t we'll t touch base on that. You know, I think every everybody in my followers know that, you know, me and my son ate the same three meals yeah. for, oh, I mean, for a long time. And it was just like, got to do the next step, got to do the next, next step. And I just really just lived with through faith and just like, you know, I will get there. I am nowhere near where I want to be because I will have so many more goals. And I mean, you inspire me so much. So thank you. Yeah, no. And that's what life is about. I mean, how old is your son now? He's 12. He's 12. So my son is 23. He's going to be 24. Mm -hmm. But I remember the days of struggle. I moved back in with my mom at the age of 21 with a newborn baby. I had no job, no education, 
no money, no nothing. And my mom really helped me. My mom, I come from a strong matriarch, so I'm grateful to God for having a strong mother mm -hmm. who was a school teacher and said, I'll help you, but you got to do figure out what you're doing with your life. You have yeah. a son. So it was get back in school, you know, get my degree, but I still had a lot of growing up to do. I mean, kids yeah. make you grow up, you know, you have a baby at 21. Yeah. And, and he made me grow up, but I still had a lot of maturity to, to live through and learn coping skills and managing skills and healthy, um, healthy choices in my life, you know, and that's a process. You, you mature and you grow. Um, and, it, and it's just a process, certainly, and then professionally as well. But the big thing that I struggled with, and people ask me all the time, I'm, um, you know, you're so confident and comfortable with yourself. I wasn't always like that. I wasn't in my teens. I wasn't in my 20s. Um, I was a super insecure girl, really worried about what people thought of me. And I let that affect my decisions a lot. I needed people to approve of me, to like me. Um, and then I get in this business that's very in front of the public eye. And you get a lot of criticism and a lot of feedback, and I would let that affect me. I really had to get over that. I really had to get over criticisms and people's and opinions. And you're so confident. I, 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 never, I, I never would have known that. Never. You no, know? people tell me that all the time, but I struggled with insecurity and doubt, and I always questioned, and I needed approval. I needed people to tell me I was okay. I finally figured out, don't figure this out in your 40s, figure this out in your teens or 20s. That you have to first approve of yourself. If you approve of yourself and you're happy with who you are, no one's perfect. Then, then you don't really need approval from others. It's nice to get praise, but you don't need it. You know that what you're doing is okay. And that's a big mental shift for me. I had to shift that thinking, and it, oh, but it, it changed my life. It, if you, and I was talking to you about it, I believe in the law of attraction, but um, I'm big on, on energy and creating your own life. Study Wayne Dyer, or Louise Hay, or Abraham Hicks, that's what they believe in. Like if you're looking for external validation, then you're gonna you're gonna move with the waves as people give you their opinions. But if you're centered and you're self-actualized, then things don't move you, things don't rock you, and you become a little more steadier in your thinking. So oh, I love that. that that was a huge journey for me in my twenties, um, and and even in my thirties, and and certainly now I, I don't let things. I mean, I mean, we all have bad days, but I can usually let things go. I can get over things and laugh it off and be like, eh. There's yeah. there's very few little things we can't get over, you know, death and, and taxes. <laughs> Other than that, there's I nothing love really, there's nothing really that's, you know, not making mountains out of molehills, things like that. I used to, you know, I was, I'll tell you what, I was a huge drama queen in my 20s. Like little things would consume me and someone said, and, and I'd have to go tell her and her and her, and she had to agree with me, you know, and now yeah. I'm like, if somebody makes a bad comment, I'm like, eh, she's having a bad day, it doesn't even bother me. Right. That's amazing. Good. Yeah. Anyway. That's good advice. Yeah. Hey, um, but another, what is your mantra that you're living on right now? My mantra that I'm living on right now, um, I have several. Self-love. Self-love. I love and approve of myself. I've been I've been listening to a lot of Louise Hay, and I listen to her. I get up and I turn her on. Find her on YouTube. You guys don't listen to Louise Hay. Or look up her videos on self-love, self-affirmation. She has talks on career. You get to read her books. You can heal her life. Incredible, incredible. I've recommended it to some friends who, who were struggling with self-confidence. Self-love. It all stems from self-love. So tell yourself a thousand times a day, your self-talk has to change it. It has to be, I love and I approve of myself. I love myself and I approve of myself. Because when we don't love ourselves, then that's what we're attracting. People who mistreat us, abuse us, circumstances that abuse us. But when, it, and I don't mean a superficial, and she says it too, I don't mean a superficial, like, um, love, you know, an arrogant love, a vain love. I mean like where you're peaceful and calm with yourself and you accept yourself. So a thousand times a day when I when I find my thoughts creeping negative, I'm like I love and approve myself and everything's always working out for me. Everything always works out for me. Everything's always working out for me. So those are three things that I'm constantly replaying in my head, especially when you feel that fear. And it's affirmations. I think affirmations are huge. Write them down, put them, say them to yourself over and over and over. Um, but those are two big things. I love I love myself and I approve of myself. Where will we? Where can we find you on Instagram? Um, Patty's World, P A T T Y, dot S, and then World. Patty's World, and just look up Patricia Maese, and you'll find me there. And then follow me on Facebook. I have my personal page. Friend me. Don't post political stuff because I'm going to delete you. You know, you're allowed to believe your stuff, but when people start getting <laughs> negative, I'm sorry, people. I delete them. I don't want to. I don't crowd my mind with that negative. That's why I left news, and I'm doing lifestyle now. Um, and then where, where can we watch your show? Is this, and they're going longer than I am? No. No, they're not. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Saturday, 6.30 on Channel 9, my new lifestyle we show. Can't, we it was can't. just a blast. I don't know how long does this go, because I'm just going off. You can keep going. Okay, okay. yeah. I talk forever. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> No, we're gonna we're gonna go to the podcast now. So you answered everything. You want to tell anybody anything else? Um, just believe in yourself, and if you have a dream for your life or a vision, 
um, you, you have to set down that goal and stay focused on that and tune everything else out. Okay, guys, we are going to keep going with the She Styles podcast. You're going to have to go to Apple and you will hear it tonight. We will post it. And she has so much more to tell us. Thanks for tuning in. We will talk to you guys soon. Bye.